Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So coming to you with part two of the Daiso haul. Um, the first one ran a little over 30 minutes, so I'm hoping this one will run a little shorter. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications going forward. Have any questions, don't forget to comment below. And don't forget to share the channel. Um, and with that being said, let's get started. So I did a lot of the stationary stuff and storage stuff in the first haul. This one's going to be like a lot of the little things and um, like the food items that I found. So yeah. So we're going to go ahead and start with these items over here. So this is called a muscle relaxation stick. And um, it says to use on the hand and the feet. And let me tell you, I tried it. And it felt like heaven. So worth every dollar and 150 pennies that this was. Um, I'll, next time I go, I'll probably grab another one. Then uh, in the first haul, I showed the two pockets. Uh, or two pocket folders. And then um, I also found this little photo album with 80 pockets. So $1.50. So that matches. They had these um, microfiber dust cloths for $1.50. So three of these for $1.50. And they're actually really nice. They're really thick. So um, I'll probably grab more of those the next time I go, I think, in March. And I'm probably going to grab more of these, too. These are to clean underneath the rim of your toilet. And I don't know about you. I can scrub and scrub and scrub the toilet, and you still flush, and stuff comes out. So I'm hoping that this does a better job of getting underneath that rim. So $1.50. And then they had these, this uh, drain, drain and sink cleaning tools. And um, I have the worst time trying to, you know that, um, that little like rubber gasket uh, on your garbage disposal side? I have the worst time trying to keep that clean. So... I thought I'd give this a try and trying to keep that part clean because it drives me absolutely batty. So grab that. Then, uh, no, we'll wait on that one. I also have a hard time, like my heels like to crack. And so I saw these. I have some really good lotion, but I, I hate having socks on all the time. So I thought I'd give these a try. Um, with the lotion and see if that helps my heels at all. Dollar fifty. If they don't work, I only wasted a dollar fifty. Then I grabbed this um, jar opener, and it's supposed to adjust size. Let's take a peek real quick. Ah, oh, come on. Of course, it's not going to be easy to open. Ah. Uh. Y'all, packaging never likes me. Darn it. And you'd think with my nails it would be easy. Scissors. Any day now. There we go. Here I am trying to make this fast, and this is going to drag it out. So, it looks like you can put it in here and grab it. If you're doing bottle tops, you put this on the bottle top and close it and turn it. So, I'm hoping this is as wonderful as it looks, it might, looks like it might be. Um, we shall see. So, yeah. So we'll see how that works out. Then um, they have a really neat like cosmetic and beauty area, but I didn't grab too much. Um, my daughter loves charcoal strips, so I thought I'd pick these up. Um, there's four in each, so a dollar fifty. They had some other ones, um, but you know, like I said, just to try, pick those up. Then I grabbed, they only had, I looked in both stores, they only had this one little box. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to store in it yet, but $1.50, and I thought it would be cute storage 
to have, oh, sorry guys, I have ribs in the oven. <laughs> okay. Then, I found this super cute little bunny. He's a little piggy bank. Um, I haven't decided if he's he or she's going to live in my craft tomb and just be cute. Or he may end up in friend mail. I have no idea. But um, had to come home with me. Um, in the previous video, I had mentioned the uh, chopsticks. You know how they're not supposed to lay flat on a table. So they have like chopstick holders. Well, they also make cute ones. So this little bear dog, whatever he is, he looks like he's just done. And even though he's for chopsticks, I think he's just going to sit and look cute. Because, you know, he is a really soft baby pink. Then I found this cute little kitty cat, also a chopstick holder. But I think this is going to go in friend mail, so it's going to go sit right there. Found, um, they call it paper cushion. But I thought this would be really nice to add with, like, shred in like happy mailboxes and stuff. So again, so far everything a dollar fifty in this haul. And okay. going on with the kitty cats. Here is a matching little pencil pouch or pen case. Thought that was adorable. You got the back of the kitty cats and more kitty cats. So there's that. And I bought this thinking it was a little coin pouch. No, it is actually... It hides your keys. So your keys aren't jingling around. So I guess you can have some on this side and some on the inside. Or, I don't know, put a little lobster claw. But I thought he was adorable. I found this little tape cutter. I haven't decided if I'm going to use it on washi or not, but it was a pretty pink and $1.50. So I thought I would try it in the craft room, and I'll have to let you know how that works out. They had the, it says, fruit scented glitter pen. And my son tried them out, and he says they do smell. I haven't tried them yet, but I thought for $1.50 it doesn't hurt to play with them and see what they do. If they're fun, then I may purchase some more and they'll end up in some future giveaways or Happy Mail. They had, I've seen these in other halls. These are stamp pens. And so one side down here is a pen, a fine point pen. And this side are cute little stamps. And let me see if I can find something to stamp on. We're going to clear this up just a little bit. Sorry, y'all. There is a moon and star, a cloud, a animal paw, and kiss lips. So, let's see. The animal paw was super adorable. We're going to do, here's the little lips. Here is the, so this side is the lip. I don't know if you can see it. And this, oh, this is the fine point so it writes really well and then we're going to do a little well guess you have to get it just right and the kissy lips are upside down but the one I like is the little paw Well, it worked really great the other night. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, they were only $1.50, and I thought that would be fun to play with. So there are those cute little stamp pens. I picked up another fan with a kitty cat on it, of course. Um, they had stuff with dogs, but I never grab anything with dogs. Sorry, y'all. <clears throat> These fans just don't want to be viewed. And then there is this one. Cute little kitty cat playing in the flowers and a butterfly. So $1.50. I thought it would be you know, fun in some happy mail. 
they had, um, I don't know if everybody knows what shrinky dinks are. Um, I love shrinky dinks and my grandmother used to do those with us when we were little kids. Well, they had these, they call it shrink plastic craft and, um, it comes with two keychains, but basically you can stamp on these or color them and then cut them out and then you stick them in the oven and they shrink like a lot. And so for $1.50, I picked up three and I'll have to let you know how they turn out. So, so yeah, and it comes with two B6 size sheets, one A5 and two, um, little key clasps. Decided to pick up these magnets to give them a try. They seem pretty, I mean, you see how they're just grabbing each other. So for $1.50, I thought I'd get them and see, you know, I don't know what crafts I might use them in, but, um, darn it. Anyway, magnets. Um, some super cute little kitty, they call it decoration tape. And I only grabbed two. I probably should have grabbed more, but um, I think one of them is going in some kitty happy mail. Picked up another set of those really cute kitty cat chopsticks. Then they had the this black and white cats. They're pens with little red uh, crystals and white crystals. So that is going to go in Happy Meal because I already hauled these last time for myself. Um, I wasn't too... I think a lot of the really good Christmas stuff had already disappeared. I had seen a lot of really neat stuff in some previous Daiso hauls, but I mean, they weren't really putting more out. So I found these uh, Christmas banners, mini banners, and... You can't see very well, but like there's little hedgehogs and pandas and Santas and all kinds of like little critters. So I grabbed two of those because I thought those were adorable. Y'all know I love flamingos, so I grabbed some more um, page um, index tabs. I grabbed these cute little bear uh, they're, they're called um, line pointers or markers. Look at that little kitty cat, like, just hanging out on the back of the bear. I love these. So I grabbed two of those. I grabbed two. <clears throat> oh, actually, I grabbed four of those. Apparently, I really liked it. Then I grabbed two of these little uh, sticky notebooks. And they're cats. One's for me, and one is going in some friend mail. Then, oh, uh, Christmas. They had, um, they had usually have really good sticker flakes. They didn't have a lot this time around, but um, these are vellum sticker flake flakes, and. Um, yeah, I think we'll we'll take a peek. There's 50 and there's 10 designs, so five of each design. And come on. Sorry. So we've got little snowmen. Come on. Snowmen. Christmas trees. Santa and his one reindeer, Noel, little bear with his Christmas presents, Merry Christmas, and Merry Christmas, and just for you. So that, I only grabbed one of those, and then I grabbed them in the pink, again, Five or ten designs, five of each, and I grabbed two of these. So we have little silver Christmas trees, some wreaths, Merry Christmas, Enjoy the Holidays, Happy, some glitter stars, 
with best wishes for Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Love Winter, and Merry Christmas. And I'm dropping the treats. Okay. So there are those. Then, um, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to get into these. And then I decided, yes, I am because, yeah, they have all kinds. These are all erasers and they're puzzles. They come apart different pieces. Um, so this one looks like it's like an, I won't exactly say like an eclair here. This is going to take forever. We have a little cupcake, and so like the icing comes off, and the cupcake comes off. They're your different types. So basically, they all kind of do something like that. So like the strawberry comes out, and the banana, and the cream, and then this one, the little mint and strawberries come off. They're like they're just little puzzles. So oh, great. I'll fix it later so I grabbed that one then I grabbed it in I don't know what kind of cake that is but then you have like a little cheesecake looking thing and some kind of strawberry cream uh, dessert there hello I had to get the crafty one with the scissors and the tape and the pencil sharpener so there's that then we have the chocolate covered ice cream, a sundae, an ice cream cone. And I grabbed another one of these. So this one might end up in like some happy mail or part of a giveaway. I grabbed, um, this was a new color. Um, they have some, these are like, uh, like an off white, like antique white, a pink. Um, they have it in like this like grayish black and then um, I saw this color it's like a gray green it's really odd but I grabbed two of these magazine holders so there's that I've been one I've been collecting dishes so that I can use in the craft room I thought this was really pretty I think these are lotus blossoms I think or cherry blossoms anyway grab that so everything you've seen in this haul everything was a dollar fifty and then these super cute little cat bowls. Um, one may end up in friend mail. I haven't decided yet. So there's that. And they had this super cute uh, little Christmas train. Oh, guys, I got to get the ripped out. Hold on. So a super cute little Christmas train, and I didn't realize he was $4. If he was $4, I don't think I would have got picked him up. Anyway, too late now. And now, on to the food. They had these Haichu fizzies. As you see, these are marked $1.75. They're not bad. They do taste like soda, and they do taste like orange soda. But we won't be buying those again, because they're kind of eh. My son likes to try all kinds of new stuff. So this was a dollar instead of a dollar fifty. And I'm guessing they're probably like like those bugles, you know? That's a guess. But there's that. <clears throat> These are sour filled gummy candy. Um, I love green apple flavor just about anything, but we won't be buying these again because they're just kind of eh. Grabbed these Choco Rooms, and then they, I also think I picked them up in, I did, in the chocolate and the strawberry. And they're actually not bad. They're pretty good. 
These guys are absolutely amazing. They are ridiculously expensive. It's $2.50 for this little bitty bag. But if you like cheese nips or cheese its or cheese crackers, period, these are hands down the best ones I have ever tasted. Like super, super cheesy, really yummy. Believe it or not, the first time I've ever trade, tried Pocky or Pokey, or I'm guessing it's Pocky, I don't know. Um, they said if I bought three, they'd give me a goofy little uh, zipper pouch that I don't know where I went, but tasted them. They weren't bad. And then I also got them in the Almond Crush. Haven't tried these, so I'll have to let you know how they turn out. But each $1.50... Then, these are amazing. Puchow, I, I, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I think it's Puchow. And this is cola flavored gummy candy. They're really hard. And um, actually, there's more over here. I knew I grabbed more. So I grabbed like three of them, I think. I thought I grabbed more of these because I can't find these anywhere here. So I wish I'd grab more. So anyway, grab those. Super, super yummy. Love them to death. Um, my favorite high chew are the green apple. And I bought a bunch of those. And then, oh, oh there's another cola one. And then my next favorite is the Mango Haichu. Grabbed those. I didn't try the strawberry, so I grabbed one strawberry. And then I grabbed the strawberry and the Puchow. And I decided to try these, um, I don't know what Ramun soda is, but I'll have to let you know. Then... Um, I found this little, I don't know, paper holder or whatever in that same color. Grab that. Oh, here's that silly little pocky, pokey, pocky pouch, whatever. I also got, grabbed a high chew in the grape. Found. Somebody said these work really well. It's an electric ra uh, eraser. And then they also had the replacement erasers. And these ones here are supposed to be like like the um, sand erasers, you know, that we use on our crafts. So I'll have to let you know how those turn out. But $1.50 each. Then they had cute little kitty cat uh, envelopes, a little bigger than those frog ones. There are eight in here. And then these little bunny rabbits in the same size as those little frog ones. And there are 10 in this one. And now I'm upset because I grabbed this little like pencil um, holder here. And it's actually broken right here. I don't know if you can see it's cracked. But I guess it's really no big deal. I only paid $1.50. And then a little tabletop trash can. So guys, that was the conclusion of my Daiso haul. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Let me know. Like I said, I won't be going back probably until March, middle, end of March maybe. And um, yeah. Um, I have more videos that will be coming out this week. And... That's about it. Like I said, uh, I mentioned in my last video, I have put myself on a spending freeze until um, at least January, but I'm actually going to try and scale down just a little bit because I really want to start focusing on everything I need to get at Ikea in February. There'll still be, you know, the random... Uh, Tuesday morning hauls, and whatever else I might come across, but I won't be actively going out and just, you know, hunting, because we know I'm good at that, but, but yeah, so again, 
Don't forget to give a thumbs up like. Any questions, leave them below. You know, I always try to get back to you. And as always, I love you guys to pieces. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.